Hey guys, super short video. Um, I want you to meet Johnny Diesel. Now this one didn't really go anywhere, I just called him out. But um, I'm cleaning out the archives again and I want to delete him. So for context of anyone who's not Australian, Johnny Diesel is actually Jimmy Barnes' brother-in-law. He's a musician in his own right, very talented. Nowhere near as, as famous, I guess, as Jimmy Barnes. Certainly not famous overseas. Hello, fan, he says. This is my private account. I read your comments and see your likes on my official account. Thanks for all the love and support all the way. I said, really? You're really trying to be a singer that is only famous in one country and does small gigs? Laughing emoji, laughing emoji. Thanks, dear. How are you doing and where are you from? He responds without reading it at all. I said, so you didn't read anything I wrote. That's nice. I'm from Ankh-Morpork in Australia. You know the city, I'm sure. And because he didn't respond, because it was about two in the morning in Nigeria, I said, oh, yeah, I forgot the time difference. It's nearly 2 a.m. where you are, isn't it? So he gets back to me not long ago. You are welcome here once again, and thanks for your love and respect for my privacy. Really cherish it. I said, uh, right, you're welcome. I take it you didn't read my messages then. Where are you now? You're up early. Thank you so much for all the support. I'd wish there's another way to show gratitude other than this. My come down on social status. Why they think we're ever going to be absolutely uh, impressed by that. And around being up early. Yes, dear fan. Keep in mind that it is... 2 p.m. here in Australia. How long have you been my fan, he said. I said, right, so this is either an AI or just someone now not very good at this. How lovely. And around how long I've been his fan, I said, since the planets bounced off each other and the cat was in the cradle. To which he responds, been monitoring your profile and others too for a while and noticed you are truly a big fan of my works. I'm not. I'm aware of who he is. I know a couple of songs, but not a massive fan. I said, I'm sure you have, sighed I. I bet you have no idea who you're pretending to be. This will be fun, won't it? I said, I'd like to hear some of those works you're talking about, seeing as it's so early in the morning where you are. Do you know where you are right now? I'm in Perth, Western Australia. I don't understand what you mean. Is it bad if I try to appreciate my fan with this medium? I pray we get along well at our convenience as I don't want to be seen as a superstar but as a commoner in the society. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Like we're in the 1800s, guys. Commoners. I said, really? You agreed earlier that it was very early where you were, so I'm just wondering how much Googling you actually did before you chose this singer. And why are you using the term commoner? Who do you think Johnny actually is? And then because he, he, he was Googling and Googling, I said, you have no idea, do you? Just the hint, he does not live in WA anymore. This is my private account, he reiterates. I want to say thanks for all the warm comments and likes, dot, dot, dot. Oh, well, since I got too many messages over at my Blueprint account, so I decided to isolate myself here and reach out to a few of my fans. Without you, I wouldn't have been here today. Kisses, mwah, to your lovely heart, said Askama going on with the script and hoping against hope that I'm just going to ignore all the red flags. I said, no, you're just being silly now. I know that you're thick, but this is beyond stupid because you haven't even chosen a very famous singer. I mean, come on, use that smooth little brain of yours for once. You'll never pass as an Aussie. Never. And around his, this is his private account and what, thanks for all the comments. I said, you really don't. Not at all. Johnny is a small time and you haven't got a clue. Show me that Aussie accent, mate. I bet you a $100 steam card that you don't have one. I don't want anything from you, he said, just to appreciate you for your support. What's your profession? I said, I doubt that very much. Why else make fake accounts and impersonate people you know nothing about except to get money? And I'm a cat whisperer. Are you married and do you have kids? trying to get the conversation back on track. I said, none of your business, seeing as Johnny is very married with kids. Do you know who he's married to? Without Googling it, I mean. I doubt you do. 
To which our scammer, completely defeated, said, Lol. I said, exactly. You're an idiot. Why pick someone like him? Why insult? Said our now insulted scammer. I said, because you're a fake and a scammer and your English sucks. I'm not a scammer. I said, yes, you are. You're a liar and a bad one. I'm sorry about that, he said, just giving it up because I think it's five in the morning in Nigeria now. Um, I said, so you should be about being sorry. I said, you scammers make it unsafe for everyone online. You're a garbage person. I'm sorry. I said, you're all trash and a thief as well. Is okay, he informs me. I said, so you also have no moral compass. Lovely. You'll face your God and your mother. Lol, he said. Can we talk as friends from now on? I said, why the hell would I ever want to be friends with a liar, a thief, and someone with no conscience or moral compass? Are you deluded? It's okay. Goodbye. Do have a wonderful time which is actually something another scammer said to me. So I'm thinking I'm getting a rotation of about five scammers. I said, you're a piece of shit and you're going to hell. Make better choices. And he took the account down himself or blocked me immediately. I didn't even have to report the ruddy thing. So I'd say blocked me. So now I'm thinking it's just a group of young guys, probably someone I video chatted with. And they just passed the phone around just playing a game. Um, though most of them have been on my main account that's still banned, guys. It's like five or four days to go. I've got so many good chats over there. Anyway, that was a super short one. Have a great day. Talk to you guys soon. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Bye.